friends, welcome to BSP Solution. My name is Rukesh Gandhi. In this video, I'm going to show you how to extend territory management in Oracle Fusion CRM application. So let's move on to the application. So this is the homepage of the application. Now first we go to the territory management. So click on this navigator. Click on this cells and click on this territories. So this is the list of the territory which is already created over here and we have an option, create option, create territory option. So click on that and you can create one territory. So click on that. And we have to select one parent territory. So for example, if we select one parent territory, so I'm going to select this. and click on this continue. So this is the creation territory page where you can enable the field to extend this territory. So I'm going to extend and I'm going to enable the status field in this creation territory page. And also I'm going to enable the status field in the edit page in this territory. So let's move on to the detail page layout of this territory. So let's cancel it. So let's open one territory. So click on that. And this is this is the added territory page where we have some sub tabs of this territory, we have summary sub tab, we have a dimension sub tab. So I'm going to enable the status field in the summary sub tab of this added territory page. So cancel out. And in order to enable the field, we have to create one sandbox. So click on this navigator option. Go to the configuration part and click on the sandboxes. Click on this create sandbox button. Let's give the name of the sandbox. So I'm going to enter DISP. And we have to select one tool. So I'm going to select application composer and click on this create and enter button. So you can see over here, the BI speed directory extend sandbox get created and the active sandbox visible above the vision, you can see over here and this is tool. Right now, the application composer is not visible over here. So you can add. So we can add the tool. So first we refresh it. Now you can now you can add the tool by clicking this add tool button. So 
So click on this application composer and uh, click on this OK. Now the application composer add it over here and display over here. Now click on done. Now if we go to the application composer. So click on this navigator. Scroll down in the configuration part, click on this application composer. So this is the application composer page. Now click on this extend extended object in the object expanded. And we are going to enable the field in the territory management. So we have to go to on cells territory. So this is the cells territory and expand it. Click on this pages. So this is the cell territory page and ensure that we have on the application page and we have an option of landing page layout and the creation page layouts and the detail page layout. So we are going to enable the field in the creation page layout and in the detail page layout. So click on this standard layout in the creation page layout and click on this duplicate creation page layout. Let's give the name of this layout. So I'm going to enter BISP. Creation extend. And click on this save and edit. Now we are on the creation layout page where you can add it the territory, create territory page and uh, click on this edit icon and you can configure the detail form of this page. So we have some available fields. So I'm going to select the status, this is the status. I'm going to select this status and move into the selected field. Now click on this save and close. Click on done. Now let's go to the detail page layout and click on this standard layout and click on this duplicate detail page layout. Let's give the name of this layout. So I'm going to enter BISP details action. Click on this save and edit. It will take few seconds to save this duplicate layout page. So this is the detail lay layout page where you can add it the summary sub tab. So click on this summary sub tab where you can enable the fields. So this is the configured detail form and this is the available field. 
So I'm going to select the status from the available field and move it into the selected field and click on this save and close. Now you can add the sub tabs also in this detail page layout. Let's take one example. So this is the height show and reorder sub tab. This is the up, uh, up and down arrow and you can click on that and you can enable the sub tab. So let's, let's select one analytics and uh, move it from the available fields to the selected field and click on OK button. Now click on done. So let's check the changes. So click on this navigator and click on this territories. And let's create one territory. So click on this create icon. Let's take one example, one data from the parent territory. So I'm going to select the cells and click on this continue. So you can see the status gets enabled and let's create one record. So I'm going to dot ESP solutions and you can change the honor of this territory. So I'm going to change it and click on search. Give the name of this honor. So I'm going to select this Casey Brown and click on OK. So in this way, you can change the honor and you can change the type like partner, like inside sales. And uh, we have a territory number, which is by default created. And we have a description box. So you can write some description for this territory. So click on save and continue. So this is the added territory page. And in this page, we have a summary sub tab. In the summary sub tab, you can see the status fields gets enabled. And uh, we have add one sub tab. This is analyticals, analytics, and you can see it gets enabled. So this is how you can add the field and you can add the sub tabs in the territory management in this Oracle CRM application. So in order to save all the changes, we have to publish this sandbox. So click on this publish. So currently, the status is up to date. Click on this publish. So this publishing is in progress. It will take you seconds to complete it. After that, it gets published. Uh, now you can see the current status is published. Now the sandbox gets published, click on done. So this is how you can 
enable the field, you can add the field in the territory management in this Oracle CRM application. Hope you understand. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you so much.